Welcome to another episode of Cyber Secrets. What I'd like to talk about first is, since we're using Kali, it's usually a pretty good idea to keep it up to date. It is a Debian distribution, and one of the easy ways to update in Debian is the apt-get command. There's apt-get update, apt-get upgrade, and apt-get autoclean. There's also a couple ways to automate it, and let's go through it. So the first thing we're going to do is go into the terminal window, or the command line interface. We're going to run this as root, or the CLI. We're going to type in apt-get, and then update. But because we want to automate it, we're going to do two ampersands. So this will be able to allow us to do multiple commands on the same line. So now we do apt-get, and then upgrade. Then we're going to do a dash Y, so it'll automatically answer yes to any of the prompts. Two more ampersands, and then the apt-get autoclean. This does take a while, so be patient. This specific scenario took uh, almost an hour to do the upgrade, or the update on this system. So, we're going to go and speed through. And then once we're done, we'll go and start our footprinting. Now here's the assumption. You're at an on-site, and you've already been given the target range, and that's going to be the same range as the network that you're going to be on. So as soon as you plug in your attack system, the first thing you need to know or find out is what that range is. And then you can start the fingerprinting process. Because we're on a local network, I'm going to use a tool called NetDiscover. This is going to run and use ARP traffic to do a fingerprint analysis. As you can see one just came up. This is actually going to be the VMware interface to the network. Wait just a little bit longer. Once it finally gets to the same subnet, it should pop up the rest of the content. This does take a while. So if you're on a 172 or .10 network, it could take 15-20 minutes, sometimes over an hour. As you can see right now, it did get the right subnet, the 192.168.116.129 and 130 are the two targets we want to go after. Now let's verify our findings. So use ifconfig and we can see it's 192.168.116 subnet. Now we can do nmap and do a ping type scan or dash s uppercase p, run it over that same subnet and just make sure that we are seeing what we're seeing. So this does take a little bit of time. After it's done, we now see 192, 168, 116, 129, and 130 are our prospective targets. Now we can do a more intrusive scan. Nmap is an extremely powerful scanning utility. There's a lot of different parameters and scan types. and then a dash P for port, because I want to do all the TCP ports too to get more information, and do port 1 through 65535, and then I'm going to do a dash A for an aggressive scan, so it does operating system and version fingerprinting. This does take a while. Just remember, as any scan, this can take a long period of time. But, once it's done, you're going to see a lot of good information, such as see all the ports that are open, and the versions on each port that you see. Uh, it does a lot of banner grabbing, so that gives you a lot of good intel, a lot of good information. So what do you do with this? Well, research each port, what it does, and if it does give you a specific version, look for it. Look for any exploits to it. But if anything sticks out, that's the type of thing that you want to look at further. For example, you have several different items, such as SQL servers or different SQL servers. There could be injections, things in that area. At this point, you have all kinds of ammunition to start your attack. But it is up to you to find out which bullet or which uh, attack or exploit that you want to use. It's your responsibility to do the footprinting, to do the research, and be successful. So let's take a closer look, see if anything pops up of interest. So all kinds of services. But this one in particular, this one says Metasploitable Root Shell. It may be nothing, but it doesn't hurt to check. So at this point, we'll open up another command line. We'll just do a simple netcat session into it. So it's netcat, the IP address, and then the port that we see, and see what happens. Oh, looks like we just logged in as root. So at this point, we have root. We just won the game. Anything and everything's possible. 
Let's check. Let's open up the shadow file. At this point, we can even crack all the passwords. Truth is, footprinting and recon does take a lot of time and effort. Finding out what exploit to use takes a lot of time and effort. You do need to do the research. This is your responsibility as an analyst. With that said, in this specific instance, we did get lucky. We found a Telnet session that was opened up as root. As soon as we logged in, we had full access. It doesn't always happen, but there's a lot of times stuff like this does, such as default usernames and passwords. This is a very common security risk that happens all the time. So, when it comes down to it, footprint, do the research, and then find the vulnerability. The Cyber Secrets web series covers computer forensics, hacking, and everything in between. Thank you for your continued support of Cyber Secrets. With the reboot of the different series, we want to ask if you have ideas for future content or suggestions for improvement. Please let us know. Click subscribe for new episodes of Cyber Secrets.